What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Uncrowned Otaku. Latest chapter of Black Clover came out and oh, there's really not much to talk about on this one so I feel like it's going to be a real quick video. Uh, we finally got to see the King of the Clover Kingdom and he's not what any of us really expected. After seeing the Sorcery Emperor, like he's overflowing with power, he gets that chronological crap. He, The Sorcery Emperor seems more like a king to me than anything else because he's respected by everybody in the kingdom. Then the king steps out, and you expect him to be humble, gracious, royal, giving compliments to, to the knights that serve. Which, for the most part, he did give out compliments. He's like, yo, they offer their, their talents to protect our kingdom. But at the same time, he's selfish and self-centered. He wants all the glory for himself. And he's a little bit shorter, too. So because he's short, he tells everybody that's taller than him. He's like, sorcery emperor, he's like, yo, you too taller than me. You hogging all the spotlight. Step to the left, my boy. To the left. And then, of course, Aster being who he is, he calls it like he sees it. He's like, yo, King, you mad weak, dog. I prefer to admire the Sorcerer Emperor. Can you, like, GTFO off the stage? And that's when uh, his brother had to step in. He was like, yo, there's a time and a place. Don't say those things. But the highlight of this chapter, the whole highlight is the King offered up a special squadron called the Royal Knights. They know where the base is for the White-Eyed Demons, which is the crew that's been given the Clover Kingdom drama this whole time. Vet, who had the the curse power with the third eye. They're going to go ahead and they're going to tackle them head on. They're like, yo, we know where they're at. It's time to take the fight to them. They're not just going to play with our kingdom. I, all of you, every Magic Knight in every squad, he encouraged everybody to apply to be part of this special attack squadron called the Royal Knights, where they're only going to take the best of the best. Doesn't matter what squad you're in. The Royal Knights is top tier, serves directly under the king. And of course, Astor's like, yo, I'm going to do that. Even the Sorcery Emperor, after the coronation, well, not the coronation, but after the ceremony is over, the Sorcery Emperor pulls him to the side and is like, yo, y'all are new. Y'all should definitely go for this Royal Knight squadron position, but... It's a lot of talent that's going to be vying for those positions. It's a lot of good people y'all going to have to beat out. So good luck, but try to get in there. It's definitely going to be worth it if you're trying to go for the Sorcery Emperor position. Now, we haven't really seen too much from other squads like the Golden Dawn. We haven't. We got that one clip of Finrail's brother. We've seen uh, the Yggdrasil magic. But as far as any other squad goes, we haven't really seen too much from anybody else. So this Royal Knight Squadron tryout, it's probably going to be lit. Just to see what the Clover Kingdom has to offer as a whole with their Magic Knights, you can't go wrong there. I'm really looking forward to the trials. I know there's going to be some one-on-one -on -one battles. There has to be. If there's no one-on-one -on -one battles, I'll be sorely disappointed. Shame on Black Clover if they don't do that. But I'm excited. What about y'all? Comment down below. What do you think about the Royal Knight Squadron? Good idea? Bad idea? Should Aster even really care? He's doing his thing in the Black Bulls? I don't know, but let's talk about it. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that social media jazz. Because just like this bang and beat in the background is my video, you already know. Step five.